Special of Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen is here. So after all that rain, finally, just a chance to catch our breath for just a bit. Right. It's late tonight and into tomorrow. We are going to get a break from the widespread rain, but we are not done with this rainy pattern overall. Let's enjoy the dry weather, the warm weather. While it's here tomorrow, temperatures are going to top out in the low to mid 60s across the Bay Area, but the next wave of rain is going to be moving in already on Friday, and we're still getting rid of the last of the showers that are on first alert Doppler right now. We're zoomed in for a closer look here. Areas north of the Golden Gate where it's hit or miss activity, but there are still some pockets of heavier rain here and there. There's still a flood watch that goes until midnight. We're going to be tracking that as we head through the rest of this evening, but overall the showers are going to continue diminishing in terms of how intense they are and how many of them there are. And by the time we get to about 9, 10 o'clock or so, things should be quieting down entirely. You can see another cluster of slightly heavier downpours here lining up over the Pacific that's going to make its way through Marin County within about the next hour to hour and a half. Future cast shows the rain lifting off to the north. Still a couple leftover sprinkles late this evening over Sonoma County. Otherwise, drying out tonight, staying dry tomorrow. Even a mix of clouds and sunshine overhead with those above average temperatures. But the rain doesn't go too far to our west. It gets aimed at the Pacific Northwest for about the next 36 hours. But that rain is going to be making a run towards us by Friday. This forecast model keeps the rain off the coast until about 8 a.m. There are other forecast models that take this and move it in already before the sun comes up on Friday. So while this particular forecast model shows a dry commute Friday morning, don't lock that in. It's not written in ink. We're going to keep you updated as we get closer to Friday morning, and we're kind of hopeful that model data converges on a better time that we can give you to avoid being on the roads. Once the rain moves in, it is going to stick around for most of Friday. We're going to see some pockets of heavier downpours here. That moves out. We're down to lingering showers Friday evening. A little break in the action Friday night. But the next round of rain is going to be right on its heels, and this is going to be a little more widespread, a little heavier, rolling through the Bay Area Saturday morning, and it's going to contain some gustier winds as well. Friday system, a few gusts over 20 miles an hour, maybe the very strongest ones up to around 30. Possible we'll get some wind damage in that time frame, but it's more likely we'll have to contend with that with Saturday's system when the wind gusts are going to be above 20 to 30 miles an hour on a more widespread basis. But again, these two systems don't contain the amount of wind energy that we've seen with some of the previous ones in this overall pattern. In the high Sierra, they're going to pick up another few inches of snow as we head through the rest of tonight, but they are going to get a lot of snow as the Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday night systems roll through. Even more moisture in store for us as we head into potentially Tuesday and Wednesday. And look at these numbers, the kind of gridded look to the colors in the background means that the computer is running out of colors to assign to numbers that are this large. We're talking about feet of snow adding up in the high Sierra on top of the feet of snow that have already accumulated in this weather pattern. But here's the good news. The 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. When's the last time that we were happy about a long range outlook beyond the seven day forecast? It shows a significant chance of drier than normal conditions. We've been in the drought for so long. We're not used to rooting for this, but we definitely could use a several day break from those widespread rain chances. We will keep you updated as that slowly gets closer. Right now, well, looking outside, still plenty of cloud cover over there, out overhead right now in San Jose, but we are seeing gradually the clouds beginning to yield less shower activity. Temperatures are in the low to mid 50s right now. We'll see a mix of mid to upper 40s and low 50s on the map early tomorrow morning. That's above normal. These highs tomorrow during our break from the rain, way above normal, reaching up into the low to mid 60s across the board. We'll take that while it's here, but as the rain moves in on Friday, slightly cooler temperatures will as well. Alert days both Friday and Saturday because of the potential of more localized flooding, potentially even widespread if the rain parks in one place long enough. And on Saturday especially, more wind damage is going to be possible. Trees coming down and more power outages. Next week, still a showery pattern, but we're not highlighting any alert days just yet because the details next week still a bit fuzzy. Have to nail down the timing on that before we give you any time frames we're especially concerned about.